2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Knicks never look better than they did earlier on getting off the bus and getting ready for action. Downtown Milwaukee is seen from the shore of Lake Michigan on a cloudless day. Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. With Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. And taking a broader look here at DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation. I'll also help him with this larger thing. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, D.A. And long-range shooting a strength for both of these teams, Brent. What was the best shooting team you ever were a part of? Uh, Kevin, I have to look up the numbers because I, I might be wrong in terms of percentage, but the feel that I get was a team that I played for in Seattle. It had Ray Allen, Rashard Lewis, uh, Luke Rittenauer, who was a young player at that time, but that Seattle team had a lot of guys who could gun it up there and, and look for that three ball. That was a great shooting team. So we'll look at our starters for the Knicks. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Alec Burks is out there with Evan Fournier, and it's Noel in at the center filling out the middle. And for Milwaukee, Giannis and Portis, the lengthy post pair for him. Allen is out there with Holiday, and it's Middleton in at the small forward. Now Allen following Alec Burks's three-point attempt. Count that one. They like to use Giannis in the pick and rolls. Situations. He's getting better and better at understanding how to set the screens. With a rolling target, boy, he's a good one. Now, here's Burks. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Barrett, wide open, he fires. That three off the mark. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Middleton finds Holiday. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. And Drew Holiday can make enough threes to make your defense nervous. Well, the efficiency of Giannis Brent is simply out of this world. Well, I think the amazing part, Kevin, is that he's still trying to expand his game, and yet he's continued with that efficiency. I mean, an MVP being able to do something like that, that's special. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Burks the pass to Barrett. Noel with it. Six to shoot. Passes to Fournier. New York needs to get off a shot. The defense from Holiday. I like when he uses his speed on that end of the floor, making the release uncomfortable. Portis gets to Middleton. Down low. It's stolen by Randall. Burks against Holiday. There's the pass to Fournier. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. Uh, Randall with a great effort there, up and athletic and at the rim. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Burks against Holiday. Middleton left side. And another basket for Milwaukee. Now working in the mid-range, Middleton finding some ways to play in between. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Adedekumbo coming off 31 points last game. Ford is trying to free himself. Ante Takumbo with the bucket. Ante Takumbo's got his second basket of the game. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. 
Noel finds Randall, and Randall throws it down. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? Middleton, the pass to Portis. Antetokounmpo trying to free himself up. Portis can't get it to go. Knicks trail by three. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Noel against Middleton. Noel dishes to Burks. Just four to shoot. Over Allen. Burks can't get it to go. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. Now, here's Ani Dekumbo. Outside Holiday. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Holiday's got six points. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Back to Burks for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And at this point of the year, what's the main thing you think Brenna head coach has to do to keep his team focused for the second half of the season? Well, again, keeping guys in great physical shape. So a, a balance of playing in the games and getting minutes, but also getting on the practice court, which is interesting after coming out of the pandemic season, Kevin, a lot of teams just didn't find any practice time. And this year, if you get back to the regular season schedule, there's ample time to be on the floor. How do you manage that practice time? And how do you manage the rest for guys, active rest on those days off? to be ready for the game. And with Drew Holiday in his defense, Brent, he lets this team get away with things they normally couldn't. Well, Kevin, the one thing that's really great about Drew being able to be switchable in that way is how much more confidence he gives every other defender that's on the floor with him. He takes the toughest guy on offense, and he shuts him down. The first free throw is good. And Holiday just does so much on the floor, but... For me, defense is his number one attribute. He's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. All three throws, good from Drew Holiday. Holiday and a... Elite defender Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing D with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Now here is Holiday, following the miss by Kemba Walker. Don't forget about Drew Holiday. He's got some ups. More than capable of getting up there to the rim. Walker the pass to Toppin. Robinson with it. 13 feet away. The offensive rebound. And Barrett does have the size to go in there and mix it up. Milwaukee leading by seven. Aston Worrell. Here's Connaughton. A second chance effort. Kept alive. The kick out to Holiday. Bucks passing it around. They shoot again. No good. Shot missing. Some solid defense from Robinson. Matthews against quickly. To the paint. Matthews with the steal. Here's on to Takumbo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. On to Takumbo's got eight points. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard. And a great feel for when guys are over. Jordan Warren. That's 
That's his first personal foul. First team foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And from the line a season ago, 73%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. That's good as he hits both of his shots. Giannis outside. Drew Holiday has been on display for the Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Arguably the premier sleeper pick of the 2020 draft, Emmanuel quickly reveals the origin of his NBA ready. And that shot certainly comes in handy for one of the league's smaller guards. And some call it the giant killer. That, that floater game is a thing of beauty. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Bucks. That mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point, fellas. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. They've got Robinson. Toppin is out there with R.J. Barrett. And there's Kemba Walker. And it's quickly in at the two spot. Hill passes to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Nice job of running that pick and roll to perfection. Hill pretty good at cutting passes through the defense. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Drew Holiday has been a welcome addition to this Bucks team. Chris Middleton said he just knows how to play the game on and off the ball. How to move without it, how to set guys up. He makes the game easier for everybody. One shape them a lot better, guys. That's how you make us, David. Thank you with stories like that. That kid, What's up? that Drew Holiday, he is a quality kid. Wonderful character, terrific player. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Knicks. And that one falls for Barrett. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. This is his first free throw of the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Rodney Hood subbed in for Pat Connington. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Outside, Walker. Rebounded by the Bucks. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Portis kicks to Hill. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Matthews. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Matthews has got the lead up to 12 now.
for the Bucks. George Hill recognizing when his man was open, an effective pass that time. Walker finds quickly, and there it is for him. Emmanuel, and those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And Kimball Walker traded to the Thunder this offseason, was subsequently bought out before joining the Knicks. Walker and the Knicks seem like a perfect fit. You just hope Walker can stay healthy at this stage of his career. Barrett with the ball. Matthews covering. And Barrett slams it in. It's awesome to have a guy at that size be able to accelerate and elevate like RJ did there. Bucks leading by eight. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. For three, Hill. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. The three. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. RJ right there moving without the basketball, and that helps him to get to an open spot on the floor. That creates the rhythm. To the middle, Gibson with the steal. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Here's quickly. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Knicks have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Quickly. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And a new group in for the Knicks. Merlin's Noel checks in for Gibson. Randall comes in for Toppin. Fournier's checked in for Barrett. And it's Burks in for Walker. And quickly drops them both. So it's the Bucks now. Three-point lead. Holiday. He's got 10. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Randall. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And if you're going to grab it, grab that thing. He just lazily reaches out for that, and the result is it's deflected right off of his hand. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. It was definitely that defense that carried them to that huge win that night. You have to figure they'll be primed to wreak even more havoc here in this one. Fournier, and he uses the glass on the way up. It's not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Knicks on offense. They're on a 14-4 run. And it's quickly missing. The Bucs have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. There's three of nine. Holiday perks up a little bit when he gets to the inside, knowing that there's the possibility of some contact. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And, and he's there at 71 from the line this season, probably below where you'd like to see him. And the first one drops. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Giannis, he's checked in for Portis. And it's Pat Connington in for Rodney Hood. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. 
That one is no good. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. One twenty-one left in the first half. And Ante Dekumbo gets it to go. Ante Dekumbo's got six here in this quarter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Randall outside. On the wing quickly. Back to Randall. And Randall throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Holiday looking over the floor. And that's good from yes. Adetokounmpo on the assist by Holiday. Oh. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Quickly kicks to Fournier. Puts up a three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. The Bucks trail. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Young. Robinson with the block. Well, the seven-foot-four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot. Swatted away. Allen passes to Middleton. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Works with it. Here's Randall. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Always seems to be a secondary thought process for the shooter when Giannis is in the area. Definitely throwing some shots off right now. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Tips going against a high-powered offense like this. I know you have your work cut out for you at the defensive end. Yeah, you know, they're tough to guard. They put a lot of pressure on you. You can't make body position mistakes. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 16 points, five rebounds, and one assist. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout out to the playmakers. This team success because of you, brother. Shaq, what did you think about New York? Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Saw defense, not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Is that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. <laughs> and that'll do it for our... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Antetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the pain, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Oh, man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? 